Welcome to the iHistory channel. Have you ever considered the possibility that Moses and Ukenaton, two monumental figures from antiquity, could be the same person? A question that invites us into the realm of the unthinkable, into a world where history and legend are not simply parallel lines, but rather a complex web of interconnected threads. Let's cast our minds back to ancient Egypt, a civilization as mysterious as it is magnificent. Here we find Akhenaten, a pharaoh whose rule was marked by religious upheaval and radical reform. Known for his defiance of the traditional pantheon of gods, Akhenaten introduced the worship of Aton, the one and only god, forever altering the course of Egyptian religious history. On the other hand, we have Moses, a central figure in the spiritual tapestry of Judaism. Raised in the grandeur of Egyptian palaces, Moses later emerged as a liberator, leading his people out of bondage. His life and works have left an indelible impact on the course of human history. Two leaders, two seemingly distinct narratives. Yet the more we delve into their stories, the more we begin to notice a striking number of parallels. Both were spiritual leaders who challenged the status quo. Both faced exile only to return with a mission that would change the course of history. Moses educated in the ways of Egyptian royalty and Akhenaten, a pharaoh who dared to defy millennia old traditions. Could these parallels be mere coincidences, or could they be indicative of a deeper, more profound? Could the pharaoh who was forced into exile be the same man who, equipped with a profound understanding of Egyptian knowledge and culture, led a monumental exodus? As we embark on this journey of exploration and discovery, we invite you to ponder over these questions, to look beyond the surface, to delve into the depth of history, and to contemplate the intriguing possibility that Moses and Akhenaten could indeed be one and the same. Two leaders, two stories, but do they share a single soul? A question that continues to fascinate historians and enthusiasts alike. As we continue our exploration, let's delve deeper into the parallels between these two historical figures and see where this intriguing possibility leads us. In our dive into the depths of history, we have discovered intriguing parallels. Two figures, both monumental in their own rights, emerge from the tapestry of time, Moses and Akhenaten. On the surface, they may seem as different as night and day, one a pharaoh, the other a prophet, but delve deeper and the lines begin to blur. Both figures were spiritual leaders, wielding their influence to mold the faiths of their people. Moses, revered as a prophet, led his followers to the promised land, delivering them from centuries of bondage. Akhenaten, remembered as a heretical pharaoh, challenged the established pantheistic religion of ancient Egypt, promoting instead the worship of a single deity, Aton. This radical shift towards monotheism was a move that echoed in Moses' teachings. Their lives also bore the marks of exile. Moses, despite being raised in the opulence of Pharaoh's court, was not spared from the harsh realities of his birthright. His killing of an Egyptian taskmaster forced him into exile, a period of his life that would forge him into the liberator of his people. In a similar vein, Akhenaten's reign was not without its share of strife. His religious reforms were met with resistance, leading to civil unrest. Some historians propose that Akhenaten was forced into exile, a theory that paints a striking parallel to Moses' own journey. Upon their return, both leaders embarked on missions that would forever change the course of history. Moses, armed with divine commandments, led his people out of Egypt. Akhenaten, meanwhile, returned to power with a renewed fervor for his monotheistic religion. But the question remains, are these parallels mere coincidences, or could they point to a deeper connection? Could the Pharaoh and the Prophet be one and the same? Is it possible that Moses' profound Egyptian knowledge and leadership style were not just a result of his upbringing, but a continuation of Akhenaten's legacy? Do these paths converge into a single destiny? The sands of time hold many secrets, and perhaps among them is the truth of this captivating theory. Until then, we continue to explore, question, and marvel at the mysteries of history. Akhenaten, forced to flee to save his own life, left behind a throne and a legacy. Picture a pharaoh once mighty, now a fugitive, wandering the deserts of Egypt, an exile, but not a man defeated. Instead, this time of retreat could have been a period of reflection, a catalyst for transformation. Let's now turn our gaze to Moses. Raised as an Egyptian prince, he was steeped in the knowledge and traditions of this ancient civilization. 
He understood their religious practices, their societal norms, their intricate hierarchies, yet he also knew he was an Israelite by birth, a realization that must have stirred a tumult of emotions within him. The theory we are exploring proposes that Akhenaton's exile was not an end but a beginning. In the solitude of the desert, he may have contemplated the essence of divinity moving further away from the pantheon of Egyptian gods towards the concept of a single omnipotent deity. Could this spiritual evolution have given birth to Moses, the prophet who would lead his people out of Egypt and into the Promised Land? Moses's profound understanding of Egyptian culture and religion would have been instrumental in his leadership. As Akhenaton, he would have known the intricacies of pharaonic power and the subtleties of diplomacy. This knowledge would have served him well as he navigated his path as a spiritual leader negotiating with Pharaoh for the freedom of his people. Furthermore, Moses' intimate knowledge of the Egyptian landscape, its people and its politics could have been crucial in planning and executing the Exodus. A journey of such magnitude would have required strategic insight, logistical acumen and an unshakable will, qualities that a Pharaoh would undoubtedly possess. But as we delve deeper into this theory, we must remember that it is just that, a theory. Historical evidence is sparse, and much of what we know is based on religious texts and archaeological discoveries, which can be open to interpretation. Could Akhenaten's exile have been the prelude to Moses' journey? This question, intriguing as it is, remains unanswered. It's a puzzle piece in the grand mosaic of history, a tantalizing thread in the tapestry of time. As we continue to explore, let's keep our minds open to the possibilities that history might offer. The Ten Commandments are pillars of Judaism, but their roots may be intertwined with the moral ethos of ancient Egypt. Let us delve deeper into this intriguing theory. The Ten Commandments, revered by millions, are the moral compass for many societies. Even today, they define a way of life, a guide to righteousness and the essence of ethical conduct. But could these commandments be influenced by the moral codes of ancient Egypt? Let's explore. Ancient Egyptian society, much like any other, was governed by a set of moral and ethical principles. The Egyptian Book of the Dead, a guide for the soul in the afterlife, contains declarations of innocence that bear striking resemblance to the Ten Commandments. For instance, the commandment, Thou shalt not steal, echoes a declaration from the Book of the Dead, I have not stolen. The timing of these texts also provides food for thought. The Book of the Dead predates the Ten Commandments, suggesting that the Egyptians' ideas of morality might have influenced the biblical laws. This is where our protagonists, Moses and Akhenaten, come into the picture. Moses, who was raised as an Egyptian prince, would have been well versed in the Egyptian moral codes. If the theory holds that Moses and Akhenaten are the same person, it is plausible that Moses or Akhenaten could have shaped the Ten Commandments from their Egyptian heritage. Akhenaten, during his reign, had promoted the worship of a single god, Aton. This monotheistic belief was a significant departure from the traditional Egyptian polytheism. So, is it too far-fetched to consider that the Ten Commandments, with their emphasis on monotheism, could have sprung from Akhenaten's revolutionary ideas? As we navigate through the sands of time, we find that history is often not as black and white as it appears. The intertwined roots of the Ten Commandments and the moral ethos of ancient Egypt offer a fascinating perspective on the interconnectedness of cultures and religions. This suggests that Moses, perhaps Akhenaten, shaped these sacred precepts from their Egyptian heritage. And so we are left to ponder on the influence of ancient Egypt on one of the world's most significant religious texts. Imagine if Moses' followers knew his true identity as Akhenaten. This revelation would undoubtedly have a profound impact on the way we perceive both figures and their legacies. As we delve deeper into this compelling theory, we start to uncover potential implications that could reshape our understanding of religious history. Consider the weight of Moses' influence, a leader who guided his people out of bondage, delivered divine laws, and spearheaded a religious revolution. Now imagine if this figure was in fact Akhenaten, the pharaoh who dared to challenge the gods of ancient Egypt in favor of monotheism. The magnitude of his influence suddenly takes on a new dimension, doesn't it? Akhenaten's fervor for monotheism was not just a passing whim, but a deep-seated belief that drove him to challenge centuries-old traditions. This passionate devotion could have laid the groundwork for the monotheistic beliefs that Moses would later champion. 
If Moses and Akhenaten were indeed the same person, then it could be that Akhenaten's fervent monotheism was the cornerstone upon which Jewish monotheism was built. Moreover, this theory could also shed light on the origins of the Jewish people. If Akhenaten was Moses, it could imply that the Hebrews were in fact followers of Akhenaten's monotheistic religion who fled Egypt following his death or exile. They carried with them the teachings of their pharaoh, which would evolve into the religion we now know as Judaism. This perspective paints the Exodus not merely as an escape from physical bondage, but also as a spiritual journey. A migration of ideas from the heart of ancient Egyptian power to the birth of a new monotheistic faith. The implications of this theory are immense, reaching far beyond the lives of Moses and Akhenaten. It challenges us to reconsider the roots of monotheism and the intertwined histories of the Jewish and the Egyptian people. Akhenaten's fervent monotheism might have been the foundation upon which Jewish monotheism was built. As we continue to explore this theory, we invite you to join us on this journey of discovery as we delve deeper into the sands of time and the intriguing mysteries they hold. While there are no concrete proofs directly linking Moses to Akhenaten, the similarities are undoubtedly fascinating. The notion that these two influential figures could be one and the same is compelling, to say the least. It's a theory that invites us to peel back the layers of history, to examine the pieces of the past with a fresh set of eyes. Delving into the annals of ancient Egypt and the sacred texts of the Bible, we uncover a myriad of parallels between Moses and Akhenaton. Both were leaders, both faced exile, and both returned with a mission. Moses was raised as an Egyptian prince, while Akhenaton was a pharaoh who dared to challenge traditions that had stood for millennia. Could these paths possibly converge into one extraordinary destiny? And let's not forget the Ten Commandments, these principles central to Judaism bear striking resemblances to the moral ethos of ancient Egypt. Could it be that Moses, or perhaps Akhenaten, drew from their Egyptian heritage to shape these sacred precepts? Then there's the matter of their followers and their legacy. If Moses was indeed Akhenaton, this could explain the profound influence he had over his followers. Akhenaten's fervent monotheism could have laid the groundwork for Jewish monotheism. Now, it's important to remember that these are theories and theories are not facts. They are interpretations, conjectures, possibilities. There are no definitive links between Moses and Akhenaten, no irrefutable proofs that they were one and the same. But the similarities, the parallels, the overlapping timelines, they are intriguing to say the least. This video is an invitation to revisit history, considering the possible hidden connections between these two legendary figures. It's an invitation to question, to explore, to ponder. It's an invitation to look at the past in a new light, to seek connections where we once only saw shadows. So what do you think? Are Moses and Akhenaton one and the same? The sands of time may hold the answer. History is a mosaic of puzzles and interpretations. This phrase resonates deeply as we consider the theory of Moses and Akhenaton being one and the same. It's a bold proposition, challenging the traditional narratives we've held for centuries. But isn't that the essence of inquiry? To question, to probe, to seek out the unknown? We've traveled through the annals of time, from the sun-baked stones of ancient Egypt to the sacred scrolls of the Bible, exploring the lives of two significant figures. Moses, the liberating prophet, and Akhenaton, the revolutionary pharaoh. Two narratives seemingly distinct, but with a thread of connection that is too intriguing to ignore. Akhenaten, the heretic king who dared to defy the gods of his ancestors, promoting the worship of a single deity, Aton. His reign, marked by upheaval and change, ended in exile. Yet, could this exile have been the prelude to another story? Moses, the Hebrew baby raised in the heart of Egyptian power, later becomes the liberator of his people. Armed with knowledge of Egyptian customs and traditions, he leads an unprecedented exodus. The parallels are striking. Both were leaders, both faced exile, and both returned with a mission. But the similarities don't end there. The moral ethos of the Ten Commandments, pillars of Judaism, bear a striking resemblance to the values prevalent in ancient Egypt. Could Moses, or perhaps Akhenaten, have molded these sacred precepts from their shared Egyptian heritage? Imagine if Moses' followers knew his true identity as Akhenaten. This could explain the magnitude of his influence. His fervent monotheism, perhaps a remnant of his past as Akhenaten, 
might have been the bedrock upon which Jewish monotheism was built. This theory, while fascinating, is not without its challenges. Concrete proofs directly linking Moses to Akhenaten are elusive. But that doesn't diminish its significance. It's a theory that invites us, compels us, to revisit history, to consider the possible hidden connections between these two legendary figures. So, as we conclude this journey, we leave you with a thought. History is not a static entity, confined to textbooks and old scrolls. It's a living, breathing tapestry, constantly evolving as we uncover new insights and connections. The theory linking Moses to Akhenaten is a testament to this dynamism. It encourages us to look at the past in a new light, to seek connections where we once only saw shadows. And now the discourse is open to you. This theory, like any other, thrives on debate and discussion. So we invite you to ponder, to question, to explore. What is your opinion on this intriguing theory? Before we close this chapter of our historical exploration, we want to extend our warmest appreciation. It's been an incredible journey venturing through the annals of history together, and we couldn't have done it without you. Your engagement and curiosity about the theory linking Moses and Akhenaten have indeed made this expedition a memorable one. At iHistory, we deeply value your thirst for knowledge. It was your insatiable curiosity that urged us to delve deeper, to question what's given and to offer you unique insights into history. We believe that every theory, every historical event or person holds many layers that often remain hidden. It's our mission to uncover these layers and bring them to light, feeding your curiosity and nurturing your love for history. When you question the norms and traditions established through centuries, you're not just revisiting history, you're reshaping it. It's this very curiosity that propels us forward at iHistory, pushing us to delve deeper, to challenge the status quo, and to present you with fresh perspectives on history. Your enthusiasm for our content inspires us to continue to provide videos that challenge, inform, and entertain. If this video on Moses and Akhenaten has ignited a flame of interest within you, we warmly invite you to become a more active member of our community. Subscribing to the iHistory channel opens up a world of historical exploration right at your fingertips. You'll be the first to know when we release new videos, offering you the opportunity to dive right into the mysteries of history. We are dedicated to bringing you the most fascinating aspects of history, one video at a time. Sharing our videos not only helps us to reach a wider audience, but also contributes to the broader discourse about our shared history. Stimulate lively conversation among your friends and family by sharing this video and discussing its implications. We are all connected by the of history, so let's learn and explore together. We also highly recommend that you activate the notification bell. It's a simple click that ensures you won't miss out on any of our upcoming explorations of the past. We have many more intrigues waiting to be unearthed and certainly wouldn't want to be left behind. As we part ways today, we leave you with a question to ponder. What is your perspective on this theory? We're eager to hear your thoughts. Let's make this not just a monologue, but a dialogue. Engage with us, share your thoughts and views. We value every perspective and look forward to hearing yours. Until next time, we urge you to keep the spirit of questioning alive, keep exploring and keep rediscovering history. The world of the past is vast and full of mysteries, and there's always something new learned, something old to reinterpret. So, see you in the next video.